This one is possessed. I feel like somebody could feel like they're possessed or somebody's trying to possess them or keep them or control them. Have a lot of cards for this one, so we'll see what's going on. Um, we have the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands talks about daring or exciting liaisons. We have the Eight of Cups. We have somebody turning away or discovering the truth. We have the King of Swords in reverse, which is no invention, not honorable intentions. We have the Page of Pentacles with um, no realistic expectations. We have the Five of Cups with grief and heartache. We have the Empress in reverse, so there, there's nobody that's connecting to their mind and body. There's no physical attraction here either. Um, we have the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is contemption and undecided. We have the Emperor in reverse. We have logic and tradition. That's in the reverse, so there's no logic or tradition here. It's very contemporary, I believe. And then there's the Three of Pentacles. So, somebody's working by themselves. Okay, so, I believe somebody... Somebody could want to be around somebody or be in the midst of somebody, but they don't know how to approach it because you don't work with anybody. I don't work with people that people can like talk to or whatever. I have a crew, but I, I don't have them come to my house or anything. <laughs> They're online. But, um, yeah, like if, if you're going to talk to me, you're going to talk to me directly. And I feel like somebody here kind of works the same way. They work in silence and solitude because, it, you know, the brain wants silence when the brain wants silence. But I feel like it might be uh, hard for somebody to approach you. Okay, we have false identity, um, stuck behavior. We have somebody who's wearing a mask. We have depression, taking over, consuming emotions. We have lipstick evidence. We have discontentment, intense lies, blowing smoke. We have worrying about a negative prayer. We have, I warned you once. And then there's the number eight. We have stay away from people who make you feel like you're hard to love. We have small rod of silver. We have nervous. We have a breakdown. We have a teal shirt. We have a karmic lesson, we have small, large, we have the number 1313, 13. we have weasel, we have child, we have lily, we have condolences, we have shrimp net, we have justice of the peace, we have waning moon, we have meat, we have an artist, we have ashuaries, we have bitter, we have a spin, we have a spice, we have nickels, we have a whip, we have a spin, we have a boy, we have tacos, we have $75, we have him, spouse, um, we have a divine masculine, we have line of dots, we have dollar, we have 777, we have the number 882, we have Ascension, we have a Vampire, and we have a Frontier, and we have the letter Y. Um, so somebody is either walking away from somebody or getting conveniently educated on what this person's up to or mind games they could be playing. Um, I, I feel like somebody caught somebody in a lie 
and um, realize that this person didn't have their best um, interest at heart just by how they were acting or what they told them. And this will happen when it seems most clear. Okay, it seems like you're clearing the air, there's no distractions, there's nobody calling, there's nobody as a third wheel here. It's just divine masculine and this person, this could be a karmic, this could be a mother, a father, a relative that kind of is a little shady. But um, I feel like... Somebody didn't like Divine Masculine's Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine's um, powers and stuff are being cloaked. Mine is always cloaked because I want to see how people react to me as a person. As a um, person that doesn't have much. Um, as a person that doesn't seem like they know anything. Uh, excuse me. As a person that is of lower register, it's called the Enchantress trick, where you're all these things. Like, you tell somebody something and it works out for them. I mean, divine feminines have that power where they can tell you something, you try it, it works. Somebody else tells you something, it doesn't work. Um,. It could be business advice, it could be you need to invest in this and this will happen and, you know, that type of thing. But, yeah, with with me, I've always been like that. I'll, I'll, um, I'll try to influence the world in my own way. But, um, yeah, like, I'll just give people random advice and then leave. But, um, if people, if people know who I am, then that's, like, a big deal. But, um, I feel like a lot of people wouldn't know who's who until it becomes a, a travesty for them. And then, you know, they want to come back to me. You know, what can I do? But, um, yeah. I don't know. But somebody wants to possess the Divine Masculine. The Divine Masculine, as far as Divine Entities go, Divine Masculine is like the cookies that come with your cup of coffee or tea, okay? The Divine Feminine is the coffee or the tea. Together, they make a tea party, but separate, it can lead to travesty, somebody wanting to take advantage of the situation. Somebody trying to separate it because they only want the coffee tea or they want the cookies to themselves. Okay, does that make sense? Together, they make a nice cup of tea, evening tea, whatever the thing. I think that's a better visual than a lot of other things I can tell you. But, um, yeah, when a Divine Masculine and a Divine Feminine get together... It's a lot of energy. I mean, it's like a tidal wave, man, monsoon of energy. But separately, they can influence the world in very convenient ways. Um, where it's like we're, we're in the back pocket of certain people. But, um, yeah, we don't... We don't like poverty, we don't like people suffering, we don't like people going through pain and stuff like that. Um, people that wish that upon us, they actually do go through that type of stuff. Um, a lot of Divine Masculines and Divine Feminines have that power to turn their back on somebody else and allow them to deal with their own shit, and it usually happens like that. Our hearts are the same. We, we don't want people to go through that, but a lot of times um, our power does get blocked out so that person learns a lesson about how to treat people and stuff. We don't have to do anything. I mean, if people want to do spells, witchcraft, try to stop us or delay us in our journey of convenience, then it's going to backfire.
drastically. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Somebody trying to possess our powers, is, it's not going to work. Because um, our, our purpose was given to us at birth. We always seem to go adjacent to our purpose. Um, so, we're trying to create a better energy for people, trying to solve mysteries that may be holding people back from being themselves, being fruitful, being successful, whatever the case may be. And if all of the divine fem feminines and masculines work together, we can actually awaken the whole community of people that could become divine masculines and divine feminines themselves, so there's no karmic ties anymore. And then life will go on as a very beneficial society of utopia. That is a theory at this point. But, um, yeah, somebody trying to possess a divine masculine or divine feminine, um, I, I don't think it's a good idea. Because divine feminines and divine masculines, once we leave the building, we have left the building. Um, it's a big deal. Anyway, so this is where I leave you. Don't be trying to possess other people. It's not your job to possess other people. Um, and I will see you in the next reading. You take care of yourselves. Take care of everyone. Um, try to spread positivity. Um, I know it's hard sometimes if you're going through it, but a lot of times it does help somebody else, and then that karma comes back to you sooner or later. Um, it is hard to practice that. It is. Um, but it's a nice thought, even if it's just, you know, talking to somebody for five minutes. Some people just need somebody to talk to, and it gives them encouragement to do what they need to do, okay? I, you know, pe people see as, uh, us humans as just individuals, but if you talk to somebody, it gives them the courage to say, hey, I'm going to do this. Because that was probably the inclination that they needed. If somebody talks to me today in a nice way, I'm going to do that. You know, it can be very small indications or messages from God that spark interest or make people do what they need to, um, even if it's hard. Alright, I will see you in the next reading. Alright? We need to look after each other in this life. Alright?